welcome to the spoiler kings um so we're gonna talk about uh moon knight episode three um i i, I had a new format on how you how we want to do it and yeah i already forgot it uh <laughs> let's, let's see if i can find it real quick um there we go so so yeah so moon knight episode three crazy stuff happened um you know just a quick rundown of the last episodes you got Steven and Steven found out about Mark and then they kind of find out about Kanshu, you know, and they're all in the same body there right now. And then episode two is kind of like Mark and Steven are kind of fighting a little bit and they're and they get into the whole fight with uh, Ethan Hawke's character who used to be a former avatar of Kanshu. So now you're kind of, broken. yeah, broken. yeah, yeah. So now he's working for the, the new god ish dang it ish new i forgot what the, the new god he's working with now um but so he's working with that and then now it, that's all uh, kind of where, where we're at with that um so initial reaction dude what what, what do you think about this one initial well, reaction first, any like recap first off, it was amazing and i i don't want to get too far into it but i honestly think more is more so much more is to come because throughout the show throughout the episode you start seeing mark black black out we used to see him blackouts all the time but steven said it wasn't him mm. so what does that mean and that's why i just can't wait to see or even talk about what what, what could be happening and yeah. Uh, yeah i did some research so i'm ready for that <laughs> yeah same <laughs> There was a there was a a thing uh, that I missed last the last episode I guess at the end of the episode two where he's in the room mm-hmm. um and the, there's the broken mirror you see two reflections yes and and you kind of initially you think it's like oh it's just because it's a broken mirror and then um going back and watching that part again it looked like there were two different versions of Oscar Isaac doing two different faces kind of so i'm like and so then you good. still got mark drinking the, the liquor on the floor exactly so like, <laughs> yeah I, I missed that until somebody like you know on, on youtube i watched like a recap show and they were talking about i was like yeah what and then they threw it in twice they threw it in twice you know the one where like that wasn't me that wasn't me and then also with arrow saying like oh how many yep. you know who knows how many he has in there i was like damn so they're gonna get into that and then we, I guess we didn't talk about Mark's wife too. I mean, we got, cause she is going to be very important because I believe that's the, the avatar that Kanchi really wants. And that's what he says. He says that she's the avatar that I, I'm going to take if you, you deny me. And yeah. that's why Mark is pushing her away as much as he can, as much as he loves her. He's trying to push her away and keep her away from this, this whole idea of what's happening with these people. Oh, uh, yep. and you don't want to do, you, you know, Kanchi was just using people up and he, Mark wants them to use him up. Yeah. And I think that's, this is going to be really interesting. What Mark does with Kanchu. we'll get to the end of the episode, but it's going to be really interesting what he des- decides to do. And yeah. the relationship between Steven and Mark is starting to change. And what do we do? And then how do they deal with, if it's more than that, just them. So yeah, so much going on. Yeah, and any big events that you were like, "Oh dang, that happened in this one." I was happy to find it got to Cairo, because I mean that's the most of the story mm-hmm. comes for. I mean that was important. Um, her, you know, being an archaeologist and her father being an archaeologist is going to be a big part of the story too. Yeah, and something they brought up was uh, Mark not telling her the tr- the whole story. Mm. And it's something that he's holding back. I mean, he's told her I have multiple personalities. I am Moon Knight. I yeah. serve God Kanchu. And there's something else you can't tell me. Yeah. Mark Mark knows more. He, he knows more than even mm-hmm. Steven. I think Mark knows about another personality. And I think he totally knows what, what happened and that he did something to her father. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, we'll get into like uh, <laughs> like wild speculations a little in a little bit, um, because there yeah, there's a couple with that, um, but yeah, yeah, we had like that, we had them uh, kind of 
figure out where the the the, the tomb is you know because mm-hmm. i guess the the what is that the scarab, scarab. like kind of misled them it just points yeah. to a direction and didn't tell you exactly where you're digging like they're where just, they're just digging anywhere because yeah. i mean see where they went it was still close by because they were able to spot them when they're going to going there so mm-hmm. you know, it was close by but I mean, it was really cool that that country was able to turn back the night sky two thousand years. Oh, that was that cool. was amazing. <laughs> well, the one, and then he also he also um, made just a random lunar eclipse. He's like, and yes. eclipse. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, like yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna be pissed off about this. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. Yeah, yeah. That was, they, he even called. He goes, ah, they'll get their attention. But then they called. They called him like, you do that shit again. Yo, yeah. you're you're done. You're done. So that that was kind of like, oh, okay. I don't want to get too. Um, uh, that whole thing pissed me off. That whole council, even Mark pissed me off there too. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, so much. But okay, yeah. Let's go on. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I was just kind of doing like a recap and, and initial reaction to it. Um, one thing is that it just keeps annoying me is, uh, Steven? E- even me and my girlfriend, like how <laughs> st- stupid Stephen is, like. <laughs> He he gets control and he becomes Mister Knight for a little bit, and then his first is like, "All right, everyone, calm down. Let's calm down." You know, it was like, "What do you? These guys have guns and They're spears." Like, stab, stab, stab. Oh wait, it's like what you take my over. Yeah. Why? Like, why are you? Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, but why? it's like he did that in the beginning too on the on that roof the roof scene where he's like, "Oh, don't do it." You know, when he saw the reflection. Yep. But I was like, dude. It's if you don't get rid of them somehow, you know, like they're gonna kill you. So it's basically you or them, you know. And I and I feel like Steven's just so like ignorant about it. I don't know, just stupid about it. Too much of a baby. It just it's 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 a little annoying. It's a different a world. Little. Come on, man. They're they're literally trying to kill you. If you're trying to do anything right, you need to be alive. So how about you protect the people that you love and take take care of these things. I don't understand why he mm-hmm. doesn't do that. And he's so much, it's pissing me off so much. Every time I'm like, Steven, oh my God, we got to put you in the back of the bus. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're trying to kill you, my dude. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm sharing something real quick. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything anything else that I can remember that was major. The, the turn back thing. Um, I mean, the yeah, man. They put him in, huh. put him, put in Conchu in that, and that stone was pretty amazing. And the fact that, um, yeah, what's his name could, could just walk through, uh, just could come in there and um, talk to everybody. You know, and well, talk get, to all, um, all the gods. I was like, how yeah. is he able to just sit there and talk to the gods? Like they just bring him in because he's the once a uh, once a avatar. He's, they're fine with him just coming in, just talking to everybody, and they believe him more than they believe Kanchu. Wow, that says a lot about Kanchu. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess yeah, because it also is like they knew he was the former Avatar. Uh, I mean, I because uh, at, at a point where I'm like, why were they believing him? He's the bad guy. But also it was like, well, they don't know he's the bad guy, and he's the former Avatar that like got so messed up because of Kanchu. Like, all right, I can kind of understand why. They see Kanchu the way they do, um, but yeah, but yeah, it was like that was a really cool part though in the whole but, chamber. But even when they finally put him, put him in Kanchu in the stone, how did how did Harold what's walk through like come back? Like it wasn't just he was there once; he was able to go back into the temple of Giza. What into the <laughs> like into what yeah. you went back? He was able to walk back into the pyramid, no problem. Just hey, I was gonna go back in there. What? You no longer Avatar. How is he able to just walk right through again? I didn't understand. So, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. So, um, and then we also yeah, have so, uh, we have uh, what's it? Anton. Anton was introduced. Mogart. Uh, Mo, yeah. So he he he's a very well known bad guy. Yeah. But he didn't yeah, die. So. I mean, he got a he got Night, moon, he's not gonna die. <laughs> you know moon knifed in the back. Yeah, you know, but he just like rode off into the dust. <laughs> like, yeah. So you didn't, yeah, you didn't see, you know, he didn't like die, die. Um, 
so yeah so he was cool i i, I, said, I really don't know too much about like moon knight's uh backstory and all that stuff like that so um but yeah I, he has like a whole thing he's like because where at one point later was like like oh trust me and he's like you don't talk about trust i was like oh what's going on like yeah like well, there's some well. there's some stuff yeah but that's probably why they, they're yeah. good together it makes sense but I really want to know what Mark's secret is. I feel like I know what it could be, but I really want to see it, how it's going to go, what's going to happen. Yeah. And yeah. what what are Mark and Steven going to do without the protection of Moon Knight? Oh, can't yeah. you? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, that's how this uh this this episode ended with uh with him turning back the stars, and he said there's a cost, and he's like he already knew they're gonna do it because he told Steven, he's like, Steven, tell Mark to come set me free. I was like, damn, that that you're at you're asking a tall order from like one guy who's two people. <laughs> you know, so I was like, but yeah, he yeah, knew but, it was gonna happen. And you already know that they're kind of have an antagonistic relationship relationship. So it's not like you know, they're just you know, they're all in lockstep. So you're trusting for you know for Mark yeah. to come and yeah. save the day. Wow. I mean that's that says a lot. Yeah. But like yeah. you said, they're they're starting to okay work together a little bit better now which i'm super excited about i i, I like that so that's because they constantly um, realize that he can't that mark could just mark could just ignore him you know just yeah. like all right i'm not gonna do yeah. anything you want me to do you're gonna you don't have the same relationship you have over there with hero yeah yeah exactly um which i'm curious about that i really want to know because you kind of get a little tease about that with hero um saying like oh you know, like you did this to me. This is your fault. Like I'm doing this because of you and this. I'm like, oh shit. So halfway through the season already, and there's still a lot of questions. A lot, a lot of questions. Um, but were there any like speculation from the last episode that you thought that that did come true or didn't come true? Were you off? Or did you hit the mark on anything? I can't remember what we. I knew Layla was going to be, be be a problem. I knew Layla was going to be a problem. And she's going. I still believe she's going to be a real big problem between Steven and Mark, because I think she's going to fall partially for Steven too, and that's going to piss Mark yeah. off even more. And she, I, I see it coming. They keep one of those googly eyes because Steven knows so much about uh, all this ancient Egyptian artifacts and stuff like that, and and he still looks like Mark, but you know he has all my, the mental part. That's going to Mark's going to try to kill Steven, but he can't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all the same body mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, that's going to create a lot of problems and i i said that and i feel like it's definitely what's what's where we're heading you know because yeah. she keeps on doing it like, oh my goodness <laughs> and she knows a lot of shady yeah. characters she knows a lot of shit we even talk about her just you know getting a new a new uh uh yeah a new like a uh, passport passport just like yeah hey, i'm gonna I made this thing, you know, stamped this thing. I was like, what? You just got that in your basement? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. And who was that? Who's that person that, he, that she was talking to? Was that like her mom, a friend, an aunt? Like, she like, knew her, what her was father. that relationship? Yeah. yeah and yeah. she loved her. So, I mean, this is really interesting, too. So, she's just as shady as they are. It's just, but at least she mm -hmm. is very honest with Mark about all the things, except about some things about her father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, the uh, his the father I think is gonna play a big role in it. Like he's either gonna be somebody important. Um, I'm 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 calling it. He killed him somehow. Either may, it maybe not Mark. Maybe this third personality mm -hmm. killed the father. I think. That's um, exactly what I think. That's exactly what. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's what I think. Where he does it, he doesn't remember it. You know, but I think but Mark that's what woke up. He woke up and he saw. Uh -huh. him, him being him being a dead, he dead, and he didn't want to talk about it because he didn't want to open that can of worms with Layla. Um, mm -hmm. He probably talked to Conchu about it, but Conchu says, "Hey, keep on talking. I'm gonna get Layla for myself." Yeah, you know, and yeah, I, that's probably where we're going. And uh, Stephen has no idea, so once again, it's going to create more of a problem, more of a distance between Mark and Layla, and bring Stephen and Layla closer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And so so this this is what i'm thinking that mark was gonna do something shady but layla's dad was also an avatar for moon knight you know because we, we know we know harrow was 
But was he the last one? Was he the one right before um, before Mark? Or was there somebody in between? You know, so I wonder, you know, did that happen? And then that got a little fight where he almost killed him. Because remember, Kanchu was like, I saved you from you were you were going to die. So it was like, was his Moon Knight going to kill him? Then he stopped because I can't. He's like, I can't kill my son-in-law. And then I, I don't know. That's what this? I'm thinking. Mark is, is, was a secret agent before firsthand, beforehand. Mm-hmm. And he was assigned to kill Layla's father. Mm-hmm. And then so now he's going to kill her. And he's going to do it. And Layla's father uh, is the Avatar, the original Avatar that was going to take over for Harrow. But Mark kills him. And Kanshu, instead of reviving her father, says, well, I'm going to save you. Because, you know, if you're able to beat him in hand-to-hand combat... Maybe you're a stronger avatar, but that's yeah. why why Kanchu keeps on looking at Layla like she's the one I really want because yeah. her blood she's is like, the she one. She's like the really blood. Is. Yep, the bloodline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that. It, I, I think I think he's he's gonna be so so important, and I I think we're not gonna get him until the very very end, or maybe maybe not the very end. Well, shit, there's only three more episodes. Yeah, left, I mean, so. it's like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't guarantee three episodes of Mark Isaac anymore. <laughs> so it's just yeah, it's yeah. Mark. <laughs> yeah, ask, yeah, Oscar Isaac. Ask Isaac. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, so yeah, so those are some of our wild speculations. Um, what about any Easter eggs? Any Easter eggs that you you saw? I mean, sorry, as I told about Anton Mogar, I mean, being was it? I think it's called Midnight Man. He's going to be a, a nemesis that's going to be around for a long time. He's in a lot of Marvel things. Uh, he's with Miss Marvel too. So, oh really? Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. that that was something you know interesting. Um, and how he collects all these artifacts. He's also going to be dealing with uh, Captain uh, Captain Captain America mm-hmm. because of you know uh, all the artifacts that he had. He deals with and stuff like that. What's her name? Um, the other agent. Oh, um, Carter. Yeah, Agent Carter. Carter. Yeah, so yeah. I think I think that's what's going to happen. I think she's going to be in cahoots with him, and that's why he's going to be around for a lot of these things, a lot of these crossovers, and how you bring these things together. Mm-hmm. Um, it was interesting how how Stephen was able to put that flag, put that the thing together right away in the sky. That was yeah. so cool that he was able to put pieces together so fast. Um, yeah. And I just I wonder what could happen if you brought them in together, if you could merge these personalities together, how strong he could be, strong, smart, stuff like yeah, that. Every part of yeah. It. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's any like uh um. I'm trying to see if there's any other Easter eggs. That I couldn't think of because I know right off the bat they said um that this whole show is gonna be very detached from the rest of the MCU. Mm-hmm. Um so you know we're probably not gonna see any kind of crazy cameos and, and stuff like that. Um they I mean they didn't even talk about any of the Avengers like at all, you know. At all, um, they don't talk about it at all. You're right. Yeah. Um, but uh so the, the third personality, Jake, was yep. it uh, Jake Lockley? Yeah. yeah. So, so Jake always, but Jake was the guy who financed in, in the in the comic book, who financed all the stuff that Moon Knight did. He was rich. Yeah. You know? Well, he was the rich one. The yeah. Rich. But I don't know. Everything's been different. So you know, no one's driving. No one's riding a cab. You know, no one's an archaeologist, so like it's everything's different. So I don't know how they're going to play this, and how you know we're, we're obviously going to get introduced to Jake next week, but yeah, you know, yeah. From there, so check this. Out. Yeah. So the one thing I, I want to look for was because uh, yeah, we got not all the gods because there some of them are locked away, obviously. Um, so we got a what six of them I think at this point, um, and one. One they're saying could be a call to um, Black Panther. So we had a uh, heart horse Hawthor Ske- Skigma. I don't know, um, but it's uh, the the mantle of the Lion God in Wakanda. 
So Ooh. and we did see that uh that uh, uh the African woman, you know, kind of you know, kind of had like the you know, the garments on and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um maybe, maybe, I'm, you know. I could see that. Yeah, I definitely can see that. Yeah, because we had a few people around the world. There's a British guy, uh they looked like there was an American guy. Um the 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 girl that was like helping him out. She, I, I think she was like kind of like Middle Eastern, or is he Middle um, Eastern or Indian? I wasn't sure. In, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Indian. And then, uh, and then her, um, which they really didn't show her much, but they just kind of like showed everyone really quick. But they're saying um, once they once they do the meeting, you start to see them all. And um, what well, you yeah, saw her, yeah. definitely African and definitely. Uh... Good looking, <laughs> but I don't remember if I thought, thought anything else out of ordinary. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I mean, but, don't you cool think? Stuff. Don't you think gods would be smarter than this to just be like, just let's just trust, you know, Harlow, Har- you know, Harold, you know, Arthur, like why, Arthur Harold, we just trust you intrinsically. What mm-hmm. the god? But you, you know. So you just think that this 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 guy, since he's down and is lucky, he has problems with probably back problems. That's why he has his cane. That's you have no problem. You, no one notices that the cane looks like uh what's it called? It's not a compass board, a square, like or something like that, that 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 decides decides fate. Nobody notices that. No one is <laughs> or do they know and not care? Or do they want to release uh the, the what what who who is the one that they're trying to um keep forgetting uh, what's her name Amit uh, was it Amit or something like that oh, yeah Amit 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 so that maybe they want Amit released so I, I don't think they're that stupid I think they're playing a game <laughs> and that this is further I it swear. goes further than we see right now and we're privy to right now yeah I mean or it could just be you know, whenever you get into like bureaucracy, not bureaucracy, or more like political kind of stuff like that, you know, everyone t- tends to some, you know, play the game kind of, you know, the political game. So I, I don't know, you know, and then, so uh, you got these gods and they're not all there. I think there was, there was five, I want to say five. So there's all together. I there's think six. There, there's nine all together. Yeah, and so there, there's two of them that are definitely locked away. So I don't know if there's yeah. one more that needs to be there or what, but yeah, because I think there's the, in the in the ring because you had the three in the front, and mm-hmm. then you had the, I think the one on the side, and then the other one on the side. So that's five. And Didn't then, they have one in the middle. Because like, they 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 they, they, they say all the names. They say, yeah, all, they say all the names. Yeah. Well, then I mean you got um. You know, Conchu's one, and then Amat, 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 Ami. Um, and that's another one. I'm, I'm, I'm it. Um, that's another one. So yeah, you're missing like two, two more, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there's still a lot, a lot, and there's a yeah. lot to go in in only three episodes, and there's so mm. much inf- information. And how are we gonna get all this in? I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do this. But I feel like I've said that in every series. I was like, <laughs> in every series, like, man, that's so much to do. What I don't know where you're gonna go with this, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> it, it's, I, I'm at a point right now. Where I'm just gonna trust Kevin Feige and just say, all right, show me what you're gonna do. Show me what's yeah. going on. And get it. But real quick, so this is a screen rant. This is what I was looking at. Um, so Conchu's meeting with the, you know, doesn't go as planned. Blah blah blah. Um, falling for Arthur Harrow's cultish, blah, 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 blah. And then he goes, uh, the only exception is uh, Yat- Yatzil, the avatar for uh, Hathor. Yeah. Hathor, uh, yeah. the goddess music of love, apparently harboring a soft spot for Kanshu. Um, Hathor's avatar leads Mark, hopefully, to Am- Amat's tomb. Uh, uh, Hathor connects directly to Black Panther. In the Marvel comic books, Hathor uh, takes the feline ap- appearance and is a sibling to Wakanda's panther god. Wow. Fast. As in Kansu himself. Bast. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we know yeah. Bast because in about Bast. They always talk about Bast. Bast. Yeah. Bast. They always yeah. say that during the Black Panther. 
So that's kind of interesting. Possibly. They're kind of like, yeah, if they do something like that. So, yeah, you know that that's kind of cool. That's so this if they if right they go there. that route, I mean, we, I mean, it's Wakanda's in the middle of Africa. And Egypt is the top of I mean, the top right corner of Africa. So I mean, it's not that far that's away. True. That's <laughs> true. I'm gonna be real honest. It's not that far away. That's true. <laughs> So yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, and then uh, right here too. Yeah. Also, uh, Black Panther, uh, T'Challa already mentioned. Uh, was it segment? Skek- segment. Yeah, segment. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Moon Knight episode three now debuts that character in full, potentially setting up future role in Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. So right there, there you go. So yep. Tatala said that God and that God showed up in, on, on screen. So all these things are connected, yeah. but they're not like directly connected as you're going to have a, other, other Avengers around. But I think it's going yeah. to bring part of this world to us that is going to start to connect by the end of this episode, episode six, everything will be connected. Mm-hmm. We'll understand how that this is all in the same world and all this stuff is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Also, this is great. So we got all these gods, right, coming in. Um, here's a, a, spe- a wild speculation, but not directly linked to the show, but the overall MCU. So we got all these gods, even more gods introduced now, right? We got nine, and uh, who's showing up in the next Marvel movie? Gore, the God Butcher. God Butcher. So Ooh. is he coming to Earth and just like, I don't care. You're all dying. You know, it's like... You know, and just winds up going on a god killing spree. Hmm. You know, I would think that he already killed a lot of gods, and that's why he's so deformed. But I'm thinking, um, um, uh, what's the yeah. who's the X Men? Um, one, uh, the, the terrible movie that they made. Uh, oh, which one? Uh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse, apocalypse, yes. So, yeah, but he's not—he's not really technically a god. Yeah, but I'm saying about you could bring X Men from from these Egyptian gods. You could bring. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You could uh, not he who be who be named, but the uh, the who's the, the big bad guy? Yeah. Oh yeah, the the other uh, king's yeah. Egyptian version of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. that's oh, yeah. the king. You could bring. I mean, so many things from these from these Egyptian gods. Yeah. So I mean, this is going to be interesting. They, they can intertwine all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, because they can easily say what like, the "Oh, there was already a man." Here? What a king is it's in this episode in, in this uh, series? That'll be that'll be bonkers. That'll be so much. I don't. I've, that'll be super cool. I don't know if they can do it. I don't know if they will do it. Six. Episode six, they bring Kang is somewhere in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, I mean, they could. Oh, my, my. They easily could. You know, like, yeah. You know, you wind up finding, like, he, he did, uh, was it Raman Tut? Raman Tut? What's his name? I can't remember his, his Egyptian when he went back in time, became like a pharaoh um, kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, you can easily slide that in there. Or that could be the reason I can't choose looked down on by the other gods. Because mm. he believed in him. You know, say ever since Ram Tub, yeah. whatever, you know, that's why we look bad at look down on you yeah. because you believed in him. And and there was in the comic book, um, what was it Fantastic Four goes back in time or whatever, and they team up with that times Moon Knight to help defeat that version of King. I don't know, man. I don't know. They're, they can they can literally go as crazy as they want to. Yeah. It's it's so awesome. I mean, we could do so many things. I and mean, Von Doom, Victor Von Doom could be you know everywhere. I thought we saw Von Doom's uh, tower uh in the second this episode. Castle. This castle. Yeah. In the second episode. Yeah. I'm just saying there's so many little Easter eggs that makes me feel like things are going to be dropped and dropped in, and then we're gonna come back to it and like, oh crap, we did see this. We did yeah. see this. This is all laying down groundwork for a big, huge thing. I think episode five and six of, of this episode, of this uh, series, it's going to be epic. Epic. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I can't wait. Um, Kuma, anything else before we move on? 
I just can't wait to see episode five. I mean, I, it, it's so weird. Like or four, four, or four. I mean, I, it was so so upset. Like I saw it, saw us today, and now I realize I have to wait seven more days. <laughs> yeah, to figure out what's yeah. going on episode four. Like, ugh, why would I yeah. do this to myself? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, damn, damn it, Marvel. Um, but so far, this is it isn't my favorite Disney Plus MCU show. Um. It's hard. I, I can't even rank it as like the worst because it's either it's it's Loki and then WandaVision and everything else is kind of all right there. Yeah, it's hard for me to rank it at all right now because I mean, yeah, yeah. We were right to the end. I liked Captain America. I love the Captain America. Oh, it's, it's, I, I just there's so many. It's hard for me to rank it at all. But I think this has a lot of potential. You know, but after Boba Fett, <laughs> I'm just happy that I think a, a series is actually doing the right thing. You know, they're introducing the character the right way. They're bringing all these things at, at us the right way. So I'm just, I'm happy for that. And I'm excited every week to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, Yeah, so if you guys are watching live, uh, stick around. We're going to talk about Halo in a second. Uh, if you're watching on replay, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, let us know what you thought about episode three. Uh, you have any crazy speculations that you think might come true? Any, any wild thoughts? Uh, leave it in the comments. Let us know. Um, but yeah, hey, man, that is it. For yeah, if Kevin Feige's actually watching, if you want to inbox me, just tell me what's going on. I would appreciate <laughs> that too. I won't tell nobody. Nobody. I'm just, better just give us that yeah. much. Yeah, right. <laughs> just give us, uh, give us the next ten years of exactly. stories. Just let me know. Yeah, <laughs> I'll buy you a beer. Right. No, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a beer. You got. It. 